This is how Ahmed Helmi spends his days, lying on the concrete floor, trying to swat away the flies with what little energy he has. Looking at his tiny body, ravaged by hunger, you would never guess that Ahmed is five years old. His brother died of malnutrition two months ago. We're in a war. There's no food, no water, his mother Sumaya says. Only God knows our pain. It's a pain shared by too many here. In the same small village, we meet Abdul Rahman, an overwhelmed father of five. He's worried about his son, Abdul Wahab. There's no doctor nearby and no scale. But he can't weigh more than five pounds. The problem is that my wife doesn't have a lot of breast milk, he says. She's sick too. And it's not hard to see why. This is the kitchen. There's almost no food in it. So they have some bread. Some onions. No meat. Hunger has always been a problem in Yemen, but two and a half years of war has starved the country. Three million people are displaced. Many live in filthy camps where disease and infection are rife and malnutrition difficult to combat. There is food in the markets. It's just that few people can actually afford it. And that's what's so tough to get your head around about this crisis. It's not caused by a bad harvest or a drought. It's caused by man. A Saudi Arabia-led blockade has cut the amount of food and medicine getting into Yemen by more than half. What does come through is heavily taxed along the way. Rural clinics struggle to meet the scale of the need. Ten-month-old Ali has gained seven ounces since his last visit, a welcome improvement, but he is still suffering from severe malnutrition. You haven't done anything wrong, the nurse tells his mother, but he's still weak, so I really want you to focus on this problem. For Ahmed, it may be too late. He's been sick for years now. He only speaks when the pain is too much. He tells me my tummy hurts, my head hurts, Samaya says. He cries. Hardship and hunger, this is Yemen's story. My whole life, Agony and I are like lovers, this Yemeni song goes. Why, world, do you only show us the terrible things? But the world doesn't hear his lament, while the silence of starvation tightens its grip on a forgotten people.